Right here in this video, first uh, we're gonna go over standard notation to scientific, and we're gonna start with a very small numbers. Okay, we're gonna do two small numbers, and we're gonna switch them to scientific notation. All right. So starting with this one right here is a point zero 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 six seven, and I'm gonna switch it to a scientific notation. Now, as you can see, this is a very small number. Okay, the way you switch it to scientific notation is you gotta move the decimal to the first number that you encounter there's a non-zero number okay so these all are zeros right here so you can't you have to keep going all the way to you find the first number that is not a zero so I'm gonna move the decimal once twice three times four times in this case it's gonna be five times okay once I move the decimal five times I have the number six point seven okay now as you can see 6.7 is way bigger than 0 0.000067, right? So how do we even the odds, okay? Because you just made this number into a bigger number, right? But we don't want that. We want to keep it the same. So the way we even out the odds is by multiplying by 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, negative 5 power, okay? So depending how many times you move the decimal place, that's how many times you're going to do it, okay? And we're going to go ahead and do the next example so you can kind of get an idea. Now in this one we got point decimal 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, 5, right? So what you're going to do is again you're going to count the decimals and you got to go to the first number that is not a 0, okay? So the first number is not a 0, it's a 1. And you got to go all the way until you pass it. So you're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this number in scientific notation is going to be 1, Point twenty five times ten to the negative eight power. Okay. If you still have questions after this, just let me know and I'll cover them.